Well, that's basically what happened here. In 2018, an analyst looked at Terra's business model and said, this is crazy, <laughs> this obviously doesn't work. <laughs> And Quan would shame anyone who dared question his model. At its height, Luna's total value ballooned to more than $40 billion. In fact, at one point in 2021, Terra nearly collapsed. And while Quan told people that the crisis had been averted thanks to his algorithm, saying it was automatically self-healing, it turns out it was only saved by the deliberate intervention of a third party, which was quietly purchasing large quantities of Terra to restore its value. And since they weren't backed by anything but good vibes, <laughs> both coins' value were trading at essentially zero, and the implosion erased tens of billions of dollars of value. As for Quan, he now faces charges in multiple countries, and he actually went on the run for a bit. The same can happen with crypto banks, which are already a bit of a misnomer, because unlike traditional banks, they are not regulated or indeed insured. But they are firms that will hold your crypto, pay you interest, and lend it out. A court-appointed examiner later found that he was making incredibly risky loans and was also using customers' money to pay the high yields that he'd promised, which sure sounds like the textbook definition of a Ponzi scheme.